Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So what have we got planned for your Saturday afternoon? Well, as you can see, we're out on the old crawler and uh, we are um, we're ploughing. Yes, I decided in the end, because I, I ran out of manure uh, not too far from the end of the field, uh, probably about another 10 or so breeds I would say. Um, roughly uh, that I had left uh, which was <laughs> quite frustrating because I, I sort of didn't really expect with the amount of manure that I had to get halfway across the field so to get within sort of 10 breeds of the end of the field was uh, in the end quite frustrating but so what I decided to do was uh, and I did record it but the for some reason the microphone and uh, one or two little bits it was in places it was very jumpy and patchy and I'm not really sure why it was doing that um, whether it's because I'm getting low on memory again or, or what I don't know uh, but yeah so I couldn't sort of put that out but basically all I did was I just kept muting, and the video would have just literally have been me running up and down you know getting a, a thousand litres of uh, slurry driving all the way down, driving about, I don't know, 200 metres down the field and then have them drive all the way back, get another one <laughs> and, and just keep doing that. Uh, so, uh, it w I don't think it would have been a much of a video, but um, hopefully, uh, as I say, you'll uh, <coughs> you'll enjoy this uh, a little bit better. I know it's ploughing again and we've got an absolute ton of ploughing to do uh, in terms of is the plough still the front? you know we've got this field obviously that we're now just started to plough uh, to do and we've also got my two fields to do as well those two I will probably do off camera uh, just so that you don't have to endure another video or video and a half of me ploughing and I'm not in a rush to do those fields either uh, they can be done over the dead of winter um, you know while I'm looking after the animals because once I've kind of got them sorted actually I need to be all the way over in that corner so we might as well drive over uh, once we've got them sorted I'm, you know, I'm going to need stuff to do in the day uh, like I said to you uh, an episode or two ago what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the winter so that uh, and the only reason I'm going to do that is because obviously my circumstances have changed time is now precious uh, and I don't want to bog this series down uh, and the same with sunny side up farms I don't want to bog them down with winter work when there is, isn't really that much to do um, so if I can sort of keep the winters going uh, and keep them moving then um, you know that's uh, I think it's going to be better all round and and uh, we can keep the farming coming uh, you know 25 is on the horizon uh, one or two people have kind of suggested that I should move over this over to 25 the biggest issue I'm going to have with that is is that for a very long time the old mods are not going to be available uh, the other issue that I've got is is that obviously it will completely change the surroundings and Harry's farm and the dairy and everything like that uh, so this series will remain until its conclusion uh, will remain on this map on FS22 uh, <clears throat> not sure when it comes to doing 25 and 22 how the memory situation is going to be so we're going to have to watch that um, very carefully because uh, as I say I've, I uh, I got the memory warning the other day uh, so for me it was like two days ago but for the video that you watched where I mentioned it, it would probably be four or five days ago because I'm, I'm slowly starting to get myself back in front again um, which is good uh, but um, yeah so for me I've had like two days of record basically I've recorded 
both the Carmelands Farms episodes and that has completely wiped out all my memory again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, so that, that that's the, uh, the state of play, unfortunately, that uh, we are again running low on memory. So, I know the videos have started to be a bit shorter anyway. And that's purely because I need to sort of kind of divide my time between doing my YouTube videos and then going off and doing all of the other stuff that I now need to get done. Uh, because, you know, sort of taking uh, full custody of your son uh, <laughs> means there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of, you know, chasing around and ringing people and and trying to get, you know, as I say, all the paperwork, you know, not only collected, but also then completed and then sent back. You know, and one thing that has kind of come to my attention since I've started doing this, and that is, when I was a lad at school, it's many years ago now, but when I was a lad at school, school insisted on teaching me the kings and queens of you know 1750 and you know sort of you know all, all you know the history from that period all right they insisted on you know teaching me lots of stuff that I have never used once since I left school when as I'm beginning to find out now the best thing they could have been teaching me was how to fill out forms <laughs> because I look at some of these forms and I just kind of sort of look at it and think have I unwittingly just entered mastermind <laughs> I just I was kind of looking at them the other day and just asking me questions and I was thinking and it asks you one question and then you answer that question, you then move down, you answer another question, and it says if you answered this question, you don't need to answer the question before. And you're thinking, so why wasn't this question first? <laughs> and I'm like, then what do I cross it out? And then it's like, you know, you cannot cross out, you know, you have to be done in pen, it has to be done in block capitals, it has to be, you know, but this information's at the bottom of the page. And I'm thinking that would have been so helpful if you would have put all of that at the top of the page, if you would have had a page with the instructions where I would definitely know what I was, and it was just, like I say, I got down and two or three times on separate forms, it was a case of I answered the question, I then moved down to the next one to fill out that one, and it's like, if you've answered this one, you don't need to answer the one above, and I'm thinking, just put it, put that as the top, as the first question then, don't but the one above is the first question. If I don't need to fill it out, I'm just like, you know. And or on the first question, why not put, please refer to question two before answering this one? Because if you answer that one, you don't need to fill out this one. It's just like, you know, and as I say, I kind of look at schools and sort of think, you know, they taught me all this stuff in science with, you know, burning, you know, gas and this is what happens and, you know, and I'm kind of, you know, and I'm sort of thinking, but I've never used that. I've never once gone into my cupboard, pulled out my Bunsen burner, <laughs> and tried to bloody set fire to gas, you know. <laughs> Mainly because if I do that outside of school, that's a prison sentence. <laughs> you know, suddenly you've become a terrorist. <laughs> You know, I can I can imagine there are groups of people in this world that find those lessons very, very helpful. You know, I haven't. I would have rather have been sat, as I say, being taught to fill out forms. And and the other thing as well is is that you you know, you suddenly learn that lots of things that you thought were irrelevant are actually very relevant and lots of things that you thought were relevant are actually not very relevant. It's kind of like, you know, I just I don't know, I, I just, these last sort of week and a half, I've just kind of, uh, well, <laughs> I've kind of sort of looked at myself and, and looked at everything that I've been required to do and kind of thought, is this really what this country's all about? It's like, you know, but anyway, that's me rant over with 
Um, and it was a rant, nothing to do with farming sim, but every now and again, you know, you need to clear the air with yourself, don't you? You need to, you know, portray this out loud, and then suddenly you kind of go, come on, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so today we're getting on with the ploughing, uh, and uh, because there's going to be a lot of driving from one end of the field to the other in this episode, we're not going to get a huge amount of the ploughing done. Um, and as I was just explaining, the, le the, uh, the lessons, I keep saying lessons, the videos are getting um, a little bit shorter uh, just because I do need, as I've said, to divide my time uh, more. So I'm not trying to cheat you guys out of anything. It, it, it's just at the moment, there's a lot of other stuff that I, you know, I have to do in the day. And the thing is, I have to try and do it while he's at school because otherwise he just will not, you know, he's got ADHD, he's got autism, he won't let me sit down for a second. I, I, honestly, I have done so much exercise in the last week that I reckon my heart condition might soon start to cure itself. Jesus. <laughs> my body's kind of gone, what happened? <laughs> We've gone from doing nothing <laughs> to just constantly running around all day and it's like, yeah, I know. It's been a bit of a shock to me too, but um, anyway. So yeah, so I'm gonna uh, end my little talky bit here. I'm gonna switch over to some nice relaxing time lapse, and then I'll see you at the end uh, when uh, you know I come back and do the outro. But uh, enjoy, and I'll see you in a little while. Bye for now.
and I'm back. So, some ploughing has been completed. <laughs> but not very much because there's a bit of a drive across the field. Now, what I've come to realise is in the amount of time that uh, I've had to think about uh, such things is what I should have done was drove down the middle of the field and then just ploughed either side out to the ends. Um, but it turns out that I wasn't quite intelligent enough to think of that before I started. Uh, but never mind. It is what it is. We'll get it done. Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do quite a bit off camera. But I will bring you back in. So we will still be in this field. But we'll be a lot further across. Uh, and the travelling distance will be a lot less. Uh, and that will be for the next episode next week. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a long trek. This poor crawler has been flat out for the la for the last like sort of I don't know 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, as I say, it's it's a bit of a trek uh, to and from there. But never mind. Once we get this done, that will pretty much be uh, work for this year done then. I've just got the animals to feed and bed uh, because I noticed earlier that they were um, they were running low on essential uh, supplies. So we're going to have to do a little bit of shopping for them <laughs> in terms of raiding our cupboards that are full of hay bales and, and uh, straw bales. So we'll get that done. Um, in the end, I didn't quite get enough time because I, I kind of need to start the silage in in October because they're just I'm never going to get it the size of the field uh, or fields because uh, there'd be two fields that I do the size of those fields I would never get them done in the time allocated uh, between today and tomorrow in terms of game day uh, in terms of game days. Uh, you know, I just, I just wouldn't be able to get them done and then get them compacted. I know it doesn't have to be compacted straight away, but it would help if we could get it compacted as well. So, uh, as I say, I will. Um, I will probably next year at some, you know, be doing silage uh, because it's one, you know, it's something that one or two people have asked about. So, I will. Uh, I will endeavour to uh, to please if I can, um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, as I'm about to set off across the field again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here, and uh, hopefully you've all enjoyed it. If you have, whack that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And uh, all that's left for me to say is thanks ever so much for joining me on this episode. I've really enjoyed having your company and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.